Well, hello. Now, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to set up a website using GitHub Pages. This is a free resource. Uh, we need some software first of all, and um, I am um, going to show you how to get a copy of Atom. Now, um, I should just explain that we, uh, you can get Atom for yourself, but I've actually made an installation for it for already, so it's got all of the settings that you need to help you build and edit this website. Uh, you'll see the URL in the notes, of course. Um, but this is now just downloading to my downloads folder. Um, this is the, the way it's, it's likely to happen for you, but if not, you have to make sure that you uh, you you, get, you, get, you gather this software from wherever it's installing. Um, and then what we're going to need to do is to go to our Finder. Now, the Finder um, setup normally um, you're going to find that you don't actually see the files uh, in a convenient way. You want to be able to see the files so that the extension um, is visible as well. So we need to go to the Finder Preferences and we're just going to turn on, I'll just bring that into the centre of the screen. Um, we want for the sidebar, we want to be able to see all of these uh, things here. Um, you should find that it's uh, it's all there, but I want to make sure that I can see my home folder. Um, that just makes life a little bit easier. And then under the advanced, you want to show all file name extensions. You'll see why we do that in a moment. Um, it's just so that we can actually then see the full file name um, and making sure that we're, we're selecting the right one. Okay, so I can turn that off now. This is just downloading for the moment. Um, so you normally, if you're using Safari, you can see that it's already decompressing the zip file. So we're going to have uh, that file available to us. Now, under the Finder, what you want to do now is to, while that's downloading, we're just going to go to the Home folder. Your Home folder. Now, because I've got an account called Student, your account is... You know, usually uh, it's going to be your student name or, or, or number or something. Um, but get to your phone, home fo folder, you need to go to the Go menu at the top and go to Home. Like this. Uh, this is going to then give me this folder here. And these are all the kind of default folders that you're going to see. Um, the first thing we want to do in this folder is to create a new folder. Now I can do that by right clicking or just Control click over that, create a new folder, call it Applications. Now that very specifically has to be like that, it has to have a capital A application. You'll see as soon as we do that it has the uh, the, the, the generic uh, image on the folder. Uh, now I'm going to open a new Finder window with our downloads, where we've just downloaded that file. Uh, and as you can see, it has some things inside it. But I'm going to just drag the whole thing into my home folder to begin with. Uh, then I'm going to open that up. Go back to my home folder again. Uh, and I'm going to drag the application of atom.app. Now you'll see why I wanted to show you the full uh, file name because that now needs to go into the Applications folder. Now this zip file here, as you can see, it says for home folder. That needs to go into the home folder before we double click to unpack it. Now this is one of these mysteries um, for you. You're, you're going to come across a lot of strange things happening on computers, but this one um, is strange because it unpacks this. It's doing this right now. It's unpacking this zip file, as you can know, know which is a compressed file. And what it's actually doing is it's uh, taking a folder out of there and putting it into the home folder. The only thing is that that home folder will not be visible because it's an invis it's a, it's a hidden folder. Um, but I'm just once it's unpacked, I'm going to show you how we can view it. Let's just close that down in the meantime. And we don't need this file folder here either anymore. Um, so we're just letting that um, archive utility unpack that. Okay, so that's now unpacked. 
although you're not going to see anything in the home folder as an as a as a result of that okay actually it's still expanding right now um mysteriously it's put a hidden folder in there now um just to actually be sure that we've got it this is how we do that if you press um alt command no i beg your pardon shift command and full stop on the keyboard you'll see that it actually reveals some slightly grayed out uh, files now one of them is that one there dot atom now we don't need to see the uh, these uh, invisible files so i can turn that off again uh, but it's just to reassure you that it actually is in there these two things here we can now actually delete just put them into our trash can Okay, so what we need to do now is to run Atom. Now, Atom is a, a fantastic uh, text editor and uh, code editor. Um, it's a free app. You can, as I say, you can download it yourself if you want to. The reason that I've given it to you in this form is that it comes ready configured now with all of the extensions and packages. Uh, to enable you to edit your website uh, with something called Markdown. Um, you can see here's the, here's the basic window. I haven't got anything open at the moment, but you'll see at the bottom of the screen, let me just bring that up a little bit. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, we've got these various um, icons, which we'll come on to uh, later. Now, we don't need to um, have Atom running or we don't need to do anything with atom at the moment so i'm just going to hide that for the moment because our next job is we now need to create a github repository right i'm now on the github.com site and uh, you will have to sign up for a github account if you haven't got one already um, I've already got one, so I can't really go through this process. Um, I just urge you to make sure that you choose a very uh, appropriate username. Um, that can be, you've got to think about what your website is about maybe and think about what the username is because that will become part of the URL for the website. So I'm now going to sign in to my account because I've already uh, done this uh, before. So. Uh, here is my. Okay, so this is my account, um, and as you can see, I've got nothing uh, in it at the moment. So I now need to go uh, to another uh, URL which I'm providing you with, which gives you a template. Um, now that's uh, available right here. So this is the this is the site. I've made a template for you, and uh, I now need to put that into my URL box up at the top here. Okay, now we should see use this template. So we click use this template. Now at this stage, it needs to ask for a repository name. Now this is very, very important. The uh, the username that you've chosen, as you can see, I've got Chris at Brooks and I've used capital letters in there, but I don't want capital letters. I shouldn't use capital letters. This has all got to be lowercase. Now we want to say dot git hub dot io and that's very important that you do it in that form so this is the owner's name the username this is the repository name and then i can put in a description whatever you like in here um, keep it the public and then click create repository from that template and you should see then uh, this will build up it's generating the repository and that will then give us all of the code that we need to run our website. This is then the, uh, the, the, the website. These are all the files that we need for the website. You can read uh, further details about that if you want to uh, in the about um, page. But essentially, we don't need to really bother with this too much now. What we actually need to do is to get a local copy of this so that we can then edit it with Atom. So we do that by going to, to this button here and then copy this URL. So you can click that little button there, copy that. So let's put that into the uh, memory of my computer. Go back now to the Atom 
uh, and you should see a little icon down here, although at the moment it's missing, but I'm going to uh, reinstate that. So just click clone a repository there, paste that into there. Now, because of the way that it's set up, you might have an error at this stage. We'll just have a look and see how that works. If you get an error like this, uh, don't worry, that's easily resolvable. We just need to go back and do that again paste that in again but this time take out the s in the http it just means we haven't got the correct extension to uh, to do https only http so i'm going to do it that way clone this and we should then see over on the left hand side again all of the files we need to run the website and the first thing we need to do is to go to the uh, config and then make changes in here. So for example, this should be obviously my URL for my blog. Uh, and I'm just going to copy that because I need, there's another place a bit further down here where I need to put that in. And I also need to change some things like uh, what I want this to express. You know, this is uh, uh, books a go go. I don't know, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, and when you want a description of the website, I'm just going to leave that website with blog posts. I mean, you just need to make these changes. You will later on need to change some of the placeholder uh, images like the face image and uh, what you want to put in the header text. Maybe I'll just change that. Uh, you'll see that we have an image in the front page, but we can change that. You also need to change your Twitter username if you're using Twitter. Um, and there also, and then down here, uh, you want to change the footer text to have your own name or whatever it is that you want to call your blog. Okay, and then once you've done all these things, uh, save that, and you'll see that that changes the config. A YML file into an orange color, meaning that that's now ready to be uh, uploaded to the website. And we now need to click this little button down on the right hand side where it says Git. You'll see then that that goes into the unstaged changes. And we need to change to put that down into the stage changes. Then we need to put a message in first edit of the config file okay just and then commit that to master push that up now um, you should in the first click for the first time you will be asked to put in your credentials but because I've already done that once uh, we don't need to do that anymore so you will be asked to, 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 to sign in to github in order to put that information up now I'm just going to go to the website again and you should see if we go, we can actually get the URL of our website by just going to settings. And if you have a look down here, a bit further down, that's where the site is. There we are. That's my site that I've created. So you can see that I've made these various changes here. You need to change the about page um, and you do that by going to the pages folder. And you'll see that you have an about page there. Make these changes in here and make changes to and add in a post. Um, so let's just add in a post very quickly. And we do that by going down here to um, this little uh, button uh, down left hand side, add new post. Okay, and the title of the post is uh, I made a screencast okay and then we just type into this anywhere we like and we're using markdown so if you just start typing that's become, become your first paragraph um, and so on let's actually make sure we get it right and now I'm just going to put in some other information um, and I can just uh, type something in again like that. That's a second level heading. Uh, 
not very good at typing quickly and so I always make mistakes. And so on. So that's our new post. Uh, you'll see that it's not published, so we need to change that to true for it to be published. Uh, the date is automatic. We're going to save that. Now we've got um, two things to, uh, to another thing to put into the uh, stage changes, and I'm going to put in and push that up to the site. And then after a few minutes, we should find. There we are, there's our new post. Nothing significant in that, but it's just to show you that that's, that's what happens. So that goes up to the top. Thank you.